our last two videos, we gave you a short introduction to general graphene and the experience that we've had in working with graphene so far. We promise to tell you more about graphene and give you the truth on what it is and what it isn't. Our upcoming series of videos aim to do exactly that by taking you through some real-world graphene applications that we're working on. Today, we're going to be talking about thin and flexible graphene heaters. There are many thin, lightweight, flexible heating solutions available on the market today, which are used in a variety of applications, such as seat warmers, anti-fogging equipment, heating of aircraft equipment, food shelf displays, satellite and communications equipment, and many, many more. Now let's take you through some properties of graphene and explain how that translates into an improved heating solution. Graphene is ultra thin and is only about a third of a nanometer thick, more than a million times thinner than hair. Graphene is also ultra light and virtually weightless at under a milligram per square meter. Both these properties allow us to fabricate heaters that can be placed in confined spaces and still be able to perform very efficiently. Graphene is transparent and has over 90% optical transparency depending on the number of graphene layers being used. Graphene is flexible and depending on the growth substrate, it can be conformed to a variety of shapes and sizes. Graphene's high thermal conductivity enables heaters to have a much more uniform heat distribution and coverage across the board. To better understand and appreciate the value of graphene heaters, it is important to understand two key global trends, the miniaturization of electronics and related components, and the desire for the world to move towards spaces that are low profile and minimalistic. Because of its highly reduced thickness and weight, graphene based heaters can be placed in tighter and more confined spaces than traditional heaters, which is important in today's world as electronics and component sizes keep on shrinking. Being flexible and transparent allows graphene heaters to have a low profile and minimalistic appearance that so many out there are looking for. Now that you've heard all about graphene heaters, you're probably wondering how does this technology work? This is a video of an early stage prototype graphene drywall heater that was fabricated by us in-house. The footage has been sped up six times and in the video, the heater is being supplied with 30 volts of current. It is important to note, however, that the heater also works with lower voltage power sources. The area that is visibly being heated represents the graphene and you can see that it goes from 23 to about 33 degrees Celsius, a 10 degree jump in temperature in just about three and a half minutes, which is incredible. But it doesn't just stop at that. These are before and after pictures of the heater, taken about five minutes apart, with the image on the left captured right before we turn the power on. You can see a temperature rise of more than 20 degrees Celsius. And quite frankly, I don't think you can get that hot that quickly with anything else that's out there today. There's also nothing out there that is as thin, lightweight and flexible as a graphene heating solution by mass producing CVD graphene films at a low cost. We aim to make this heater a commercial reality along with many other graphene based products. Go ahead and subscribe to GGTV for many more videos like this. Visit our website by clicking the link in the video description and tell us where you would like to see a graphene heater being used by commenting below.